This is part 2 of Drawing a Butterfly Stained Glass. If you missed the first part, it's available on my channel. So you can go and watch that before we continue creating this stained glass effect butterfly. Also, um, as you see, I already have a draw from the previous video tutorial. So I'm just going to continue from here. I'm just adding an effect. I'm going to increase the saturation and brightness on the image. And I'm going to use a monotone brush and make sure it's streamlined because it makes all lines much smoother. And we're going to start by drawing the lines for our stained glass. Uh, so you, when you draw, just make sure you draw a line and you hold it and then it becomes completely straight line. So it, as you can see, I'm trying to create a shape that you would see on stained glass. So I'm just holding the pen and it makes a completely straight line. creates this effect of stained glass and to undo just dub double cl um, click with two fingers and it will undo for you I'm using a black color and monotone brush and the brush size is not too big and I'm using full opacity so I just drew everything and skipped the part because it was quite consuming. Uh, this time I'm going to switch off the drawing assistance because I don't need to have this on both sides as I'm just going to draw the middle. I don't want to be in the middle the same symmetric as it is on the butterfly wings as I use the symmetry on the butterfly's wings. So it made everything faster as I was drawing on one side and everything appeared on the other side. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I'm just adding some details and I'm going to draw over the outline of the butterfly. I just forgot that I should should have switched on the drawing assistance so I could do on both sides. So this time I have to just draw myself around. Instead of having that as a, as a mirror. Okay, I'm going to rotate slightly. Okay, I'm going to alpha lock it, choose the right color, and I'm going to duplicate the same layer. So I have another same layer, and I'm going to draw over in white color. So make sure that you still have the black layer and you're drawing the the white with alpha locked on a second layer and I'm going to just to switch on drawing assistant so it happens on both sides I don't know for some reason I keep forgetting to switch that on Okay, I'm going to switch off the assistance and I'm going to drag it a little bit using the move tool and just it kind of looks this double layer and I'm going to change the opacity and I'm going to alpha, I'm going to use the clipping mask so it's kind of just a shadow. Again, I'm using the blur effect below. So we have three the same layers now. I'm going to use the blur so to make as a drop shadow. And I'm going to use a multiply. And I'm going to add some. Now I'm using the another brush just to create this stained glass shadows, kind of reflections. I'm using lighter colors. I'm just making waves. If 
if you feel this video is uh, maybe too fast, I can kind of make it a bit slower because it just increased the speed because I thought maybe it would get too slow. But now when I'm doing voiceover, I feel it is maybe it's a bit too fast. Okay, so I'm using clipping mask again. And I'm going to smudge the lines so they are not that sharp. So it looks as a like glowing glass. I'm changing my brush and changing the color. Again, during the drawing assistance, it happens as a mirror. I draw on one side and it draws on the another one, which is really, really handy, especially like for drawing something that symmetry works really well. So now I'm just creating a stained glass effect around. I'm trying to make it bigger so the butterfly is in our focus I'm avoiding the center as I'm going to switch off the drawing assistant as I don't want to be completely symmetric in the middle I'm just going to draw Again, I'm creating shapes that are sharp and how the stained glass would look like. Okay, I'm duplicating the layer. I'm going to use the alpha lock again and I'm going to draw over with white the same I did with the butterfly so I can make a reflection. I'm just trying to make an effect of, of maybe the stained glass being glued uh, with the metal. I have a girl in the background as if she was looking through the window. Of course you can choose any image you want and if you like this drawing you can follow the tutorial on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, I'm just going to go, go in blue, go in blue and I'm creating another layer on top of the girl and just dropping the blue and reducing the opacity. Now I'm going to create a mask so the butterfly looks glowing and more realistic. And I'm going to, once I select it, I'm going to create this mask on top of that blue layer I just created and I'm going to delete everything that's covered by the butterfly because I want the butterfly to be really bright in colors and everything around I want to have the blue shade I just created. So that mask helps me to draw inside the shape neatly. Of course you can try to do this without no mask, just delete the background with the, the eraser tool. Okay, just trying to make sure that it's all deleted. Okay, I'm making clipping mask again and I'm using a brush. luminance brush just trying to add some reflections because I would think that happened during the sunny day and the girl is in the beach so obviously it's a hot summer day so I'm adding all the reflections on the butterfly and 
I'm doing a little glitter mask and I'm doing the same on the glass around. And now I'm just adding a brick reflection from the sun and I'm going to use the drawer and I'm going to use the add and change the opacity. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. See you soon!